In this video, I will talk about multiple parking lots for this in the same zone. So basically, how Vizim undertakes a destination parking lot search. So how it will decide which parking lot to use that has the same zone. I have a simple example here. And all of these parking lots have the same um, exactly the same zone, zone two, while this one has uh, zone number one. The way Vizim decides um, by default, it will just balance out basically, but it has a logit and a utility function you can set up and that can be used to influence this search. That can be accessed, the utility function, for each vehicle type separately here. And for the logit, in the dynamic assignment parameters choice tab up here. Uh, both function in detail discussed in the manual with the whole function, each element, how they uh, relate to each other and so on. But here I just really try to give you a simple example. So how to, what can you do? So if you check the utility function coefficients, those are here in the destination parking lot selection button in under special tab for each vehicle type separately. Basically by default, these are all zero. Parking fee, attraction, distance from destination, generalized cost, availability. Availability, attraction, and parking fee are quite self-explanatory. But the distance from destination, if you use a coefficient here, the distance is not a distance of the shortest path. It is the distance as a shortest line, so a straight line. So if you have this between that parking lot and that, this is, let's say, 100 meters. But that is exactly the same distance if it, this link is like that. So it won't be considered in that distance. And of course, I don't think if it's useful for anyone. <laughs> but you can use it like this. So if you know the, the zone is closer, or this car park is closer, and you want vehicles to use it, that is the tool. That is the coefficient to use. But I think in most of the circumstances, what you want is the generalized cost, like basically the travel time. So here, this is not to really taken into account at the moment. And some of these coefficients needs to be zero, uh, negative. It is set out here and in the manual as well. This one needs to be negative. So let me just do this. This is a small value. So the influence will be not as significant as it would be with the value of this. This is a more significant impact. So let me just use this first. So in this case, these are the same. So what will happen if I run it? I need to run it a couple of times because I don't have a wake file. So again, first, as you see this, this is the closest, so that is used. Then basically, since the travel time is not that different, it just basically start playing around um, with the, uh, as the travel time is saved in every simulation, then the next one, it can influence it. So as you see, these are more or less the same. But let me tweak that little bit. So what happens if I increase it? You need to be very careful with these parameters. They are very sensitive. <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> and if you put a too big number, too high number, you will get a warning that it is the result of the function of the calculation is below the logit lower limit. So that card part will be excluded. So it won't be used if the final the result of this calculation is below that number. So now if I run it a few times, you see that 
it's 80, 83, 83. So there is still not a lot going on. Let me just try with a slightly higher setting. I just don't want it to fall over, but we can we can actually see what happens if it if it is too big. So now you see that the furthest one gets the lowest because the travel time is the most there, the the longest. So now this dominates. And as I and as I keep running it, it usually takes a few more runs to just uh, find the final one. But what happens if I just place a tiny little reduce speed area and just slow vehicles down there? So let's run it. And you see the first one, it still sees the old uh, travel time. So it doesn't, basically it hasn't been included yet in the travel time. But now, after the second run, in the second run, no one is using that because the travel time is very far. Oh, sorry. It's very long. But what happens, so but if I want, if I can, I can reuse this. Then you will see the impact will be less, so vehicles will still be considered for that, just not that much. So this is basically where you can just play with it, with that coefficient, how much to So it's basically a trial and I wouldn't say trial and error, <laughs> but it is definitely something to you need to calibrate to find that balance the one the one you want. I hope this was helpful. I think it is a topic that not everyone uses because usually we just um, assign a different zone and then we can have a greater control how we want vehicles to find that. But this is definitely something if you are interested in to consider using. Just be very careful as I showed that a tiny little change in this coefficient can impact a lot. I hope it was helpful. Let me discuss, let's discuss in the comment section if you have any queries, if I miss something. Um, and like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I would appreciate it.